hi you guys welcome back to my patreon i hope that you're all doing well it looks a little bit different you guys in the background i'm actually at my parents house visiting this week my niece is in from new york for the week you guys i'm so excited we're having the best time so thank you for joining me over here today on my patreon you see that i have some cards drawn already because i wasn't really sure what i wanted to read for you guys today so i figured i'll just open myself up and see what comes through from spirit so i just said okay what do you want me to talk about today spirit i'll just draw a few cards and i can already pick up on the energy so clearly of maybe a no contact situation going on with you and someone it's funny because for some of you this is is a person that you're not in a relationship with but for others of you it just could be like walls up between you and your person what i can see going on here is like someone try it's funny because they're really trying to make a decision and i can see that you have someone that's really like goes back and forth like debate should i or shouldn't i yes or no forward and back overall energy is the hermit in reverse but then the eight of cups is there to me which is crazy because this is the hermit in this energy essentially but it's coming in reverse so it's like i can see that you have someone who is second guessing when they really do already know what they want but it almost feels like they're trying to fill you out see you have this is why it feels like a no contact situation especially because the eight of wands is coming in reverse so that's almost like for some of you you literally have this person blocked they don't have a way to communicate with you or you're just blocking them out energetically now i will tell you that they do feel some kind of way about it in other words this person is feeling like they question can i really trust you okay so their head is swirling with all these different thoughts about what's going on so so it may sound like when i read the energy to you guys i'm back and forth back and forth that's because that's how this person is as far as how they're looking at things and decision making the nine of pentacles is showing me that this person it's like you are free like you're single you're fabulous nourished healthy moisturized like all of that just doing you and living your best life that's how this person is looking at you right now and thinking about all the people that could be around you they definitely feel like you're looking better than you've ever looked nine of pentacles i don't want to make the energy sound like this person is just focusing on your outer appearance it's not about that but i mean you are the complete and total package so if you feel like they don't know what's going on with you they absolutely do it just feels like this person has to they have their own trust issues so it's funny because obviously some of you are in a no contact situation or communication has just become difficult and the the difficult communication or this person feeling like when they respond to you you're not responding in a timely manner the way that they would want because the way that this person looks at it is they tried and tried and tried and you're they feel like they're trying or they've tried but you still have walls up around them you still won't fully let them in but you know i definitely pick up on a strong sense of mirroring here because as i read this energy i can already feel some of you feeling like well that's my own energy that's how i feel you know looking at this person and wondering about possible romantic competition i know you think very highly of them as well this person just feels like you're everything the total package so much potential they look at you as someone that has so much potential they feel like you are marriage material even thinking about what kind of parent you would be especially if you have a pet this person feels like you take take such amazing care of your pet so it makes them think like what would you be like as a parent so they're thinking about all of that and then it's just like you have it all together your looks you're you're incredible you're beautiful it's like your health the way that you present yourself, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you dress. They just look at you as someone that's a 10 out of 10, head turner, gorgeous, abundant, but then like totally fine on your own. Like you don't need anyone. You're single and successful. So that's what's interesting about this energy is like 
the no contact situation has this person's mind running wild and thinking about, you know, you're out here looking good, feeling good, very jealous. Do not be fooled. This person is very jealous thinking about possible attention that you could get. It's all it's on their mind so much. This person is constantly thinking about you constantly a little bit obsessive i will say because it feels like they're trying to figure you out and they're always wondering what's going on with you but then they second guess and they're so back and forth in the energy this is like a contradiction because it's like this person is trying to run from what they are running from what they feel for sure but what i can see going on in this person's energy is that they're they're ready they're ready to move forward i i know that they are it's like this person really wants to offer you something serious. I know that because when I look a little bit deeper, I see the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So this person is thinking about like clearing the air, forgiving, you know, forgiveness, I should say, moving forward in like a solid relationship. I just see this energy is so tricky, the way that they keep going back and forth, really trying and they are running from their emotions. And then I feel like to kind of to try to make themselves feel better, they look at you and feel like it's safer to question your intentions towards them. But I know some of you are questioning this person's intentions towards you. So what I can pick up on for those of you in this no contact situation, or if it's like, you know, difficulties in communication, what I can pick up on is... um everything that this person wants that they won't say and how they're letting their trust issues get the best of them and letting their mind wander maybe some of you are choosing to open yourselves up to other romantic energies maybe some of you are choosing to uh date someone else the thing about the energy though is even if you're not and you feel like you're still connected to this person maybe you just need a little bit of space to figure out what it is that you want to say you have your reasons why you need to keep them blocked or your guard up you have your reasons why but they they're thinking like you know maybe you're dealing with someone else talking to someone else and it's something that they tell themselves to feel better because they know that they're really running from their emotions so it's almost like they want to turn it around on you yeah that's what's very funny so i pick up on the energy of someone that has trust issues and it's really in need of healing they also have insecurities insecurities that you may not suspect that this person actually has but the sad thing about the energy and how i keep going back and forth is it's like they're ready for so many things that they're not letting their self be ready for because their overall energy comes through as the hermit that is someone that's gone through a significant shift it's like there's still, I always make this analogy of the caterpillar to the butterfly. This person has emerged as a butterfly, which shows me that they've ascended, they've they've transformed, even transmuted negative energy into positive and, and just evolved. So they're in the butterfly energy truly, but when they look in the mirror, they still see that caterpillar. It's like they're not giving themselves credit for how much they've evolved and that comes between the two of you and when they're not giving themselves credit for how much they've evolved that's when i feel they try to compartmentalize try to yeah it's compartmentalizing do you see how the cups are there stacked up but the person turned their back to it which is you know like i said essentially the hermit so it's like trying to deny something that's right there and it's it's so funny because this person is really struggling you guys so i see how much they want you i see how much they want to talk to you i see how much this person really desires to just wipe the slate clean and start over and i know that they want to be in a serious relationship with you this person wants to make you theirs it just feels like they they're not uh being confident enough and then I guess it's even more complicated if you have this person blocked, do you really want to speak to them? Because I know that they really want to speak to you. They want to talk to you. They want to hear from you. Let's tap further into the energies.
anyone thinking of a Sagittarius or a Virgo, those energies are coming through the strongest so far in the reading. So I'll mention those to you. Could be, um, you know, who you are thinking of, your own sun, moon, rising sign. Three of Wands in reverse around the Eight of Wands. So it's like the, the Wands is this person's fiery passion and like the energy that they share with you, the energy that they want to give to you. I feel like it's important for someone to think about how long they want to not talk to this person or be in a no contact situation because it could start backfiring because I can see in this person's energy where they are already struggling and fighting and going back and forth and it may actually cause them to just retreat further if they're already like avoidant if they already run and I can see that they already have these trust issues this person has skepticism when it comes to love that maybe they so, like they don't see but you could pick up on it it's almost like they're not making the connection it's funny th it's funny because there's a part of this person that is in denial in both ways like i said that analogy about the caterpillar it's like they still look at themselves as the caterpillar instead of the butterfly so it's like they block themselves in that way It just feels like their insecurities get the best of them. Like, that's just what it is. That's really what I can see. And then they go through this. They're so back and forth, you guys, because it's like, it's like, I, I can't wait for this. I want it. I want to open myself up. Then I run away and then I'm skeptical, but then I want to seek forgiveness. So you have someone that is very hot and cold. But the ironic thing about the energy, it's it, they're kind of blaming you for that because they feel like you're not letting them get through or you're not speaking to them or you literally have them blocked and it's like putting them in a negative mindset where they're thinking like i'm probably not really gonna get what i want here and i don't mean to sound so frank when i give you that message but this person it's funny because they really admire you they feel like you're incredible they want you they want you to be theirs but then they can't really stand the thought of anyone else you know they can't stand the thought of anyone else being around you which i guess goes hand in hand but then i see that they're not really coming forward the way that they should it feels like all of this is going on behind the scenes some of you don't know how much this person is struggling with coming forward. Some of you don't know about the insecurities that they actually have, the trust issues that they have. I wonder if they share just a little bit of it with you. Two of Swords in the Wheel of Fortune. That's a very nice turnaround. Good. They. I'm glad. I was hoping for this, you guys, because I don't, you know, want to just leave you hanging. Look at the Eight of Wands coming up right now with the wheel of fortune as i clarify the seven of swords okay so this reading i wonder if it's making even anyone as they watch see like i'm holding things against this person that they don't deserve i'm letting my own trust issues or things that happened to me in the past i'm letting that get the best of me because i wonder if it surprises any of you to hear that this person is having some of the same thoughts you're having when it comes to love like have you felt like they've been distant from you or you guys are having difficulties in the communication or you're not communicating frequently or or there there's a blockage there and have you been thinking about how they go out into the world looking amazing and they're beautiful and they're turning heads and they could have so many people must want this person or be talking to them or thinking about who they could be entertaining romantically feels like you guys have the same thoughts it's like you two of you mirror certain worries to each other but it's positive with the two of swords in reverse because it's eye-opening and it's revealing and it's letting my guard down and letting someone in so it's it's really trying to work through the trust issues so maybe this reading made someone see the own trust issues that they're struggling with and and they could already be rethinking things that they want to do since watching this reading on the other hand 
or maybe even simultaneously because you guys are really mirroring each other i can see that this person even though they struggle and they have these insecurities they really want to focus on pushing past that because really deep down what this person wants is you and only you and a relationship with you who else would be better than you no one they think so highly of you they feel like you're incredible beautiful 10 11 out of 10 if you want to give it a rating if, if it's a 1 through 10 they're going to give you an 11 you're above and beyond so i do feel like there will be a turnaround you know as the reading progresses tapping into the current energy and then seeing how this does turn around this is what you want you know you want someone that is grown enough mature enough spiritually intelligent emotionally intelligent enough to not be afraid to take a look in the mirror and see what blockages I could be creating for myself. I don't want to get in my own way. I know that I have trust issues. I don't want that to keep coming between the two of us. So then the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune is coming in here. And then the two of the two, no, the eight, there it is. The eight of wands. Okay. So things are going to move forward. Things are going to get on track with this person. You know, the, the argumentative energy or maybe even feeling defensive, feeling like you have to be in a defensive stance or even have rebuttals, you know, because I feel like you guys have been putting walls up around you and you may not have had a full blown argument, but you may have really felt like you were tested and had to kind of stand up for yourself in a way that you saw fit. Um, and maybe even feeling like this person was in turn defensive with you as well. I feel like there's going to be an apology. Wheel of Fortune upright. Eight of Wands shows me um, this person reaching out to you message after message after message. So you may find that either they're, they could be sending you voice notes and it's like this, like a few long voice notes. It feels like this is messages though. So it's either a voice note, long voice notes, or paragraphs that they're writing you text message wise. But, or it's like sh uh, they're writing one thought after another, after another, after another, and literally sending you message after message after message. However, you guys communicate, however, you communicate with this person, I see them messaging you, communicating with you over and over and over again. So there is going to be a turnaround. The thing is, is that that's why I'm telling you it's when I read the energy, it's a struggle because this person has already turned around like they already see you clearly. They just need to start letting they just need to start seeing their self clearly. But I feel like they will. I feel like they're moving towards that. Let's look at the nine of pentacles. And then this is repeating again. Lots of energy is repeating again. Gemini and Sagittarius is now here, you guys. Are you thinking of a Gemini, Sagittarius, or Virgo? Because all of those energies just fell out. <laughs> Let's look at the Nine of Pentacles. Three of Cups around the nine of pentacles this person feels like when they're with you it's some of the best times that they've ever had uh when it comes to just hanging out with someone they genuinely enjoy spending time with you and then the ten of swords is repeating now ten of swords in reverse releasing moving forward I feel like this person is going to want to have you in their life any way shape or form any way that they can it's not that they want to friend zone you because this person wants you. I feel like it's them just looking at the the connection as a whole and just feeling like you guys have built something and they have they genuinely enjoy your company and love being around you. They feel like it's a good vibe, it's a, an amazing energy and on top of that you're so beautiful. So they're going to try and make amends. They could even try to do it in like, I don't want to say it's sneaky because this person is not trying to trick you or deceive you. But there's definitely something around that energy where they're trying to be around you. But still, they look at you so romantically. So they're going to try and find a way in in whatever way possible. The fact that the Three of Cups is coming in around the Nine of Pentacles, this person sees everything that you bring to the table. They know 
about your independence and that you can get anyone that you want like they know all of that so it feels like even for some of them here they could even try to approach you in a playful way in a way that makes it like it's not so serious between the two of you like in other words they don't want to come and try to put a bunch of pressure on you just know that what their true intentions are and what their motive is behind trying to fix the connection is they want to be with you so it's really complicated. And you just have someone that needs to get out of their own head and out of their own way. And I feel like this person is going to do that. And once they do that, they're going to want to try. They're, they want to rebuild things with you. It feels like they're going to try and do it in a way that doesn't make you feel pressured or alarmed. Three of Cups around the Nine of Pentacles. It's interesting to me because I know how much this person wants you. They just want you in their life in any way. Some of them even know that they have to accept the fact that you could be involved with someone else. Even if it's not a full-blown relationship, talking to someone else, dating someone else. Someone here knows that they may even just have to accept that. And I feel like they will. That's the crazy thing about it. Not forever just enough so they're back in your life and you see what they have to offer because what they're hoping is i want to position myself so i'm around you and you remember what good times we have so you can choose me it's funny that this person is very strategic and i don't want to make them sound manipulative it's just that they're very strategic it's like they want to plant seeds in your mind that that makes you feel like ideas are yours when they're really not yours it was their idea the whole time so just know this anyone that's trying to um get back in contact with you but for those of you especially that resonate with this like no contact situation but if if this should happen to you randomly and you have someone off that you had a I don't know, a history with, I guess you could say. And I don't necessarily mean like a relationship, romantic history. It's like you have a history with this person. They're going to try and position themselves um, back in your life under the guise of like, oh, I'm just coming over. You know, I just want to see what's going on. Just checking in, checking in. But that's far from the truth. Even they could even like call you a friend, which is the craziest thing. They're doing it to try to get a reaction out of you, to, to check your temperature, to see how you feel about being called a friend, knowing full and well that this person looks at you as marriage material and someone that they would wish and dream to be with. The crazy thing about the energy, though, is it feels like you guys are open to this person and they're like removing themselves from the connection feels like you were open and this person just wants to complicate things or at least they've been doing that they've been doing that and i feel like spirit is telling you this because spirit wants you to, to get an understanding of the confusion in this person's energy okay and also the jealousy i feel in their energy they may try to play it cool as though they don't think about how you're turning heads and who's around you who's talking to you but they absolutely do see seven of cups seven of cups around the five of wands this person thinks oh my god why does this person feel like you have a million people like trying to get with you message you talk to you reach out to you may yeah this person feels like whatever however someone can get in contact with you in other words through social media but it's more than that because it's you in your daily life as you go out they look at the energy like you must have everyone coming up talking to you wanting to be with you and i guess it's very flattering because this person just feels like you're incredible but then I can see that this person has those jealousies. This is crazy because I know some of you feel like they're not jealous when actually they are very jealous. They just hide it well. 